Hey, what's up everybody? He's Coots. Hey, he's Tank. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of This or That Movies. Today, it's uh, this this or that debate we got is a good one. I really love both of these movies, but yeah. this actually was not as, as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. I, I, I did this poll, and so our, our poll today is The Last Starfighter versus Flight of the Navigator. Who you got? Oh, Last Starfighter. For sure. Me easy, too. easy, easy pick me for too. me. Me too. I wouldn't say it's as easy for, I wouldn't say it was as easy for me as it might have been for you. Twist, yeah. But I'll tell you what, I, I probably as a kid watched both of these movies an equal amount. Um, so I would say it was pretty, pretty. Uh, I, again, uh, pretty even watching even. Last Starfighter, rewatching it again, one of those films. Haven't that seen it in ten years, fifteen years. Probably in the last six months. Yeah. And again, one of those films that should not have been allowed to watch as a kid. It was pretty creepy. Well, it's not even that. Well, yeah, there is some moments when they but, when they spawn the but, new Alex. Right. The like that was his, his face or eyeballs. Or whatever. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like the kid reading a Playboy, and like there's that uh, whole moment, yeah, yeah. and like all that shit. I'm like, oh. Yeah. You know, and it's like, and there's like the whole more or less almost sex thing in the back of the truck, and like it's like oh, yeah. okay. a lot of stuff that I was like borderline, but I, I was like was I think we were six or seven ish yeah, in but, that range. But uh, last no, Starfighter, dude, no, the last Starfighter I think came out in 1984. Was it early? It might be that early. early. Yeah, yeah, it might be that for us. We were like four. Again, probably shouldn't be able to watch it. That being said, uh, um, Fly the Navigator. One, it is one of my favorite sci-fi's Disney films. That was the one I was talking about that they cussed in, where the guy yeah. said shit. Yeah, and it was like, <gasps> yeah, you know, um, great movie, great plot, uh, great Paul, story. Paul Rubens does the voice, which is Pee Wee Herman, if you didn't yeah. know. Yeah, and he does the voice of the shit when it was, <laughs> you know, but then you realize yeah. later that it is Pee Wee Herman, yeah. and it's Paul Rubens, which he's Paul Rubens, but people yeah. remember as Pee Wee Herman. I love that movie, I really do, but Last Star Starfighter was kind of more Star Wars-esque, kind of that more along the, uh, it went in the adult sci-fi realm for me where I, I enjoyed did. it more. And as a kid watching this going, this is kind of an adult movie. My dad showed me I was watching and I loved the hell out of it. I can't really say I can't really say that the last Starfighter is underrated because everybody that you talk to that's seen it and knows it loves it. Right. So it's not underrated. I think it's under remembered is the best way that I can but, put it. Cause like I bring it up and people are like, oh my God, I love that movie. But, and people always forget about the last Star Wars. Too, I think they tried to be almost along the lines of a Star Wars yeah. film. And Star Wars, as you know, the original it's, three films, I mean, Jedi came out before this and everyone goes, that's probably the, give or take either, if you think of that one or the first one as the worst two, yeah. Empire still blows it out of the water. It, Practically a perfect film. Just about. Right. So you think about it that way. It was, you know, they tried to be I just. Uh, the, the, yeah, well, here's my answer to that, I think, is that they realized that sci fi and space goes went bang because of Star Wars. You Star, know, episode Star, four, Star, episode yeah. five, episode six. And so 83 was when Return of the Jedi came out, and everyone that was alive at that point went and saw that movie. So they were like, Sci-fi and space fighting stuff is pretty hot right now. Let's yeah. do that. So that's that's what I think happened. But I feel like it was done so well. It's a great story. Like what kid, or even like even if you're like awesome at like arcade world enough that yeah. we actually went to arcades to play games. Now everybody's home. Um, but like, what a neat premise. And and for me, uh, growing up, probably if you ask my mom to rank her favorite actors of all time i'm i'd be shocked if robert preston didn't come up in the first five yeah that she named she loves robert preston we were a musical family yep. so uh music man yeah was yeah, was yeah. popular and uh, also victor victoria oh, yeah, another yeah. great okay. movie that robert right. preston was in so robert preston was in that movie so that's why we had that movie when i was a kid because she was like robert preston i'm into it like and it was just i just i love it like there's there's a little touch of a human to human love story in there. There's loyalty and brotherhood among these like starfighters and the, you know, and Robert Preston's character is so endearing. Like it's a really good plot. It's really well written. It's really well done. For sure it's the last starfighter for me. Yeah. But it was tough because I love the wow. I love the story behind Flight of the Navigator. It's super, super cool. Yeah. I loved them both, but 
It's the last Starfighter from me. I'm gonna rewatch it soon. Yeah. I love that movie. I haven't seen it in a long time, and it yeah. then it popped into my head, and I was like, I haven't seen that in forever. I love that movie. Yeah, fantastic film. Yeah, good, good stuff. Time. Thank you. Good picks. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. So thank you for joining us. Make sure you uh, like and share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Radio Rhapsody with Coots and Tank, and also our Facebook page, Radio Rhapsody with Coots and Tank. Yep. I'm Coots, and I'm Tank, and we'll see you next time, kids.